and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another challenge. Um, a bit of a test this time, trying to see um, what's better, a car fitted with a supercharger or a car fitted with a turbocharger. So we started off with quite a basic car. We took this um, Ford Fiesta and it's a basic front wheel drive car. Um, we fitted it with a race supercharger and race turbocharger. So I was going to be representing turbochargers in this challenge and James the superchargers. Um, so, um, yeah, that's how you can, you can tell which is which, but yeah, basically we fitted the cars with a supercharger and turbocharger and race upgraded, um, whatever we'd fitted with. So we had a race supercharger versus a race turbocharger on this car. Um, and yeah, we thought it'd be interesting to see what would happen, um, in a drag race, um, with the two different aspirations. So yeah, this is what happened. So the turbocharged car took that by quite a way, um, but it was quite substantially up on power and PI compared to the supercharged car, because um, the turbo just gave it more power. So we thought um, we would try it out upgrading both of them to the top of D-Class. So we just put power upgrades in these, nothing else, um, but built both of them to the same class, because obviously the PI saved from the supercharger you could use on other parts. Um, so we thought we'd do that, and then head back to the drag strip to see if that made any difference, if that would help the supercharger or if the turbocharger would still win. So even with uh, the additional upgrades to make the supercharger car competitive, uh, the turbo turbo vehicle still won. Um, so that was kind of what happened with those. Um, but we thought, as we'd tried a basic front-wheel drive car, we'd move things up to a faster car, like the Ford GT, um, rear-wheel drive, of course, so something a bit different, and again, fit them with a race supercharger versus race turbocharger. And interestingly, the PIs were a lot closer with these just with the the parts on so we headed up to the airfield um, to see which would be faster in a drag race oh interesting these are actually quite a lot closer in class number oh what i shifted in second and there was just no power I don't know if I shifted into second too early or if there was just massive turbo lag and second gear. <laughs> so that was slightly unexpected. Uh, the supercharger did take it, um, but we did wonder if this was down to me shifting up into second too early because uh, the wheel spin puts the revs up and then I was shifting rather than waiting for the traction and the revs to drop again. And Anyway, I was basically shifting far too early in second. Um, there was just no power when I did that, so... Yeah, given that happened, um, we weren't sure if it was down to that or if it was just massive turbo lag at this point. So we headed back um, to upgrade the cars. Um, so we just put full power upgrades in both cars' engines. And it, again, the PI was really close, so we thought we'd just take them like that and see 
um, what happened in another drag race. <laughs> No, I did it again. Shifting into second, it just loses all power. That wasn't me, it's just... That's where the turbo lag is. So, um, the turbocharger ended up losing again, um, surprisingly. Uh, but again, I'd done the same mistake with the gear changes, I think, um, in that drag race uh, and the other. So I went and practiced some, some launches and gear changes for a bit. Um, and then we headed back, um, hopefully, to make the track race a bit more fair, because it was being ruined by my bad gear changes. So we headed back again um, to see what would happen with the upgraded cars. Ooh, you got the jump this time. Yeah, that's more like when I should have been shifting, I think. So there we go. Um, the turbocharger did take it in the end. And yeah, with me shifting in the right place, it took it by quite a margin. So we're pretty sure that's what happened in the previous drag race before the engines were fully upgraded. Um, with just the turbo and supercharger fitted. So I think we can <laughs> quite reasonably say that the turbocharger is better. It was better in both cars, um, front wheel drive, quite basic car, and a rear wheel drive supercar. So um, I think um, that's kind of tells us that the turbocharger is better, which is what Forza reckons. It reckons it's higher PI. Um, but even with cars on balanced PI, it seems to be better to put a turbo in, which is usually what I do, um, unless I think the car feels like it should be supercharged rather than turbocharged. Um, like this, for example, probably should be supercharged, really. But anyway, yeah, I think we can conclude that the turbochargers are better here on Horizon 4. Unless, of course, it only applies to Fords, because we did end up with a Fiesta and a Ford GT. Not really on purpose, but yeah, I think that's unlikely. So I think we can say the turbocharger is the better option, if you're wondering about which to use. Um, so yeah, that is going to be all for today's video, um, testing what is better, turbocharger or supercharger here on Horizon 4. So thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next video very soon.